Hello my YouTube family and welcome back to another video. On today's video we are making my Cajun fried chicken sandwiches. Let's get into it. Okay, my YouTube family. So the first thing we are going to do is start on our chicken breast. So we're going to start trimming off all this unwanted stuff like that. We don't want it. See that? Toss it. Toss off and trim off any fat. We don't want the fat. Be careful. No fat. Okay. All right. Okay, see it's a little. Get that off right there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, see this is a huge chicken breast, so I'm about to make this into two breasts. And let's see, hopefully I fillet this evenly. I should have it flat on the cutting board. I don't know why I got it on this plate. Okay, let me see. Let's start right here. And I'm just gonna go right down the middle and fillet this into two breasts. Right like that. Boom. And boom. So now, we have two chicken breasts. So I'm gonna go over here and rinse these off real quick. I'll be right back. Rinse these and wash these up really good. Then we're gonna season these bad boys up. Rinse these. All right. to build up some flavors. Let's get some of this excess moisture and water out of there. Doesn't have to be completely dry. Just get up some of that water. All right. And I'm gonna lay these down right there. And we are making spicy chicken. So let's start. We are starting with some Creole seasoning. Time to build up flavors. Y'all know how I am about seasoning. Building up flavors. Take it a little light because our flour is also going to be seasoned. You know what I'm going to do. Then we're going to do some Cajun. seasoning okay then we're gonna do one of my favorites some kicking chicken good stuff kicking chicken you can see all the herbs and spices in I love this seasoning then we are gonna do some Himalayan pink salt And last but not least, this stuff is hot. We're going to do some Mac Spice Hot and Spicy Seasoning, all-purpose seasoning. Now, this stuff, take it easy because it is hot. All right. So, what I'm going to do now is flip these bad boys over, and I'm going to repeat the process. Then we'll be back to dip them in the flour and then dip them in the grease. I'll be back. 
Okay, fam, I'm back. So, of course, we had to season up our flour with that same, um, with those same Cajun seasonings because we want this to be a spicy chicken sandwich. We are going for spicy. So, now that we have that all mixed up, let's take our seasoned, beautiful chicken breasts and let's begin to dredge them. And while we are doing this, our grease is getting nice and hot. Okay. Make sure you pat it in. Always pressing that flour like that so it can come out nice and crispy and then just shake it off. Press it in, shake it off. And let's do our other beautiful seasoned breast. shake it off. I said press it, press it in. And shake it, shake it out. Okay. So those are nice and coated. Now it is time to take these over to the hot grease. Okay fam, so our chicken breasts are frying beautifully. These are not that thick, so I think I'll be back to check these bad boys in about 10 minutes. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all, let's start to build these Cajun chicken sandwiches or Cajun chicken BLT sandwiches. So I'm just going to start with some mayo. about y'all but I don't like no dry sandwich I gotta have some mayo on that thing okay all right so we got some mayo now we're gonna put down some lettuce beautiful beautiful iceberg lettuce Too. Okay, now we're going to add on our beautiful tomatoes. Beautiful tomatoes. We're going to give it a sprizzle of black pepper. Now it is time to add on our beautiful, beautiful, oh, fried chicken breast with melted pepper jack cheese, beautifully fried, golden brown, crispy, flavorful, Cajun. Okay, we're going to sit that one right here. Beautiful. And we're going to take our other one. Still a little warm. And we're going to sit that right here. And I think I'm going to do one of these BLT style. So let's see. We could do it like that. We got our beautiful, beautiful fried bacon. Thick cut. Thick cut. Put that on here. And I think I'm going to keep one plain. So I'll do one. Let me see. Make sure you guys can see this. Ugh. So I think I'm going to do one 
BLT style and then the other plain. So that's just about it. I'm going to fold these bad boys up and I'll be back with the finished product. And here you guys have it, the finished product. Like I said, I kept one plain and then I added one, um, I added the bacon to the other. These were absolutely delicious. Pair them with something simple, some hot chips, keep it spicy all the way around. Again, guys, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. Everyone stay safe and stay blessed.